Good morning and a very happy Monday to you. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Let's get into the Word of God. John chapter number 15. And we are going to look at verse number 5. John 15, 5. The Bible says, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Ye can do nothing. And I want you to notice too that uh, it's not thou canst do nothing. It's ye can do nothing, meaning he's speaking to the group. All right. Um, He's speaking to a group of people, plural. And so even collectively, Jesus is saying, without me, ye, even all of you, even if you join hand in hand, ye can do nothing without Christ. And he uses this example of a vine and the branch. And also he uses the example of producing fruit, right? Bringing forth much fruit. A branch that brings fruit. And of course, you know, when you think of the vine, most people, they think of the grape, right? Grapes grow on vines. And in order for clusters of grapes to grow on a branch, I mean, there's, there's a there's a lot of factors that have to go on, right? They have to get, first of all, plenty of water and the right kind of uh, soil and the nutrients that it derives from the soil. And, uh, of course, <clears throat> not uh, water especially, but not just water. There are other nutrients that that uh, <clears throat> excuse me that gets absorbed from the soil. And then, of course, they also need sunlight, right? Sunlight um, and photosynthesis. Uh, you know, helps to uh, produce uh, energy as well. And uh, and that eventually helps uh, the plant to be able to bear fruit. And here Jesus is saying that the branch cannot produce any fruit without the vine, which is true because the vine typically is the one that is directly connected to the soil, the one that, uh, you know, processes the, the energy from the sun and does all these things. And, and basically it is the vital part of the plant. It is the life source of the plant. And from the vine, basically all the nutrients, all the, the things to, to produce fruit, it, it goes from the vine to all the other branches so that the branches can produce the fruit. And if any of the branches were to be cut off, it would immediately cease from producing fruit and honestly it would immediately cease from, from being a living plant anymore. <laughs> it would just be a dead stick. Um, you know, it's, it's funny. I, <clears throat> I, I think one of the most perfect illustrations happened to me just now uh, when I was setting up my computer and my camera and everything for this devotional. Uh, I plugged in uh, because I knew the battery in my laptop was low, uh, you know, uh, because after Bible study, uh, you know, yesterday I, I, uh, you know, the the battery is just, just, just low. And because usually the Bible studies, I don't, I don't plug it in. And um, so I, I plug in the laptop and I'm looking at the little thing that's supposed to be indicating, you know, uh, that it's charging, right? The little symbol is supposed to, a, a, a picture of a plug is supposed to appear where the battery is. And I'm like, wait a minute, it's not, it's not charging. You know, what's, what's going on? And I, I, and I, I check the connection here. I check the connection at the outlet. Yeah, they're both connected. It's, oh no, is my, my plug gone bad? Uh, but then I realize in the middle, there's actually another there's like a little box, you know, I'm sure many of your laptops have the same thing, right? Where uh, it, the, the, the charging cable is actually two halves that connect together in the middle, okay? And, and that was not connected all the way. Somehow it gotten loose. So I just pushed that in more. And, and once I did that, it made the connection to the outlet and it gave power to my laptop. And you know what? As Christians, our power source is Christ, Without Christ, we can do nothing. We need him. We need him. He is our life source. We need him in our day-to-day life. And sometimes when life has got you down and it's dragging you down, you feel discouraged maybe. And, and uh, you know, whatever it may be, check your connection with Christ. You strengthen your connection with Christ and you will have enough energy, enough power, enough life 
to get through whatever it is that you need to get through in your life at that time. I'm going to stop right there. Thank you so much for joining me. God bless you. Have a wonderful Monday, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.